My next guest defeated David Castillo at RFA 35 on February 19th to become the new RFA lightweight champion. Tiago Moises joins me here on the program for the very first time. And Tiago, how does it sound now when people are calling you the new RFA champion? Hey, it sounds great, you know. Uh, my second fight in the organization and uh, uh, this is really good to be a RFA champion. Definitely, and that's a nice belt you got there uh, that you're holding. And, uh, you know, the, the cool thing about this, uh, Thiago, is that you won it with a really nice submission here, a uh, second-round arm lock. Uh, overall, were you satisfied with your performance in the fight? Yeah, I'm happy with uh, the victory, you know, but uh, I'm not satisfied, you know. I uh, have uh, a lot of things uh, I need to improve, you know, and uh, I'm, I will be back to working on these things and uh, be a better fighter. How did you uh, celebrate after the win? Um, I'm going to Brazil now uh, and celebrate that with my family, my friends, your friend. Yeah, that, that's great. Um, how, what does it mean to be so young and to already have a championship belt under your under your under your resume? Uh, you know, uh, it's great. Uh, I'm still 20, but uh, I have been working a lot and uh, for a long time. Uh, I started jiu-jitsu when I was eight years old and. Uh, my first metro MMA fight was when I was 15, so I have been doing this for for a while. That's awesome. Um, I'm sure you got a lot of uh, nice messages after the fight from fans and from family and friends. Uh, yes. what, what was sort of the best message that you got after the fight? Like uh, I got really happy when I when I read uh, Rodrigo Nogueira. Oh, uh, cool. Minnesota, when he 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 wrote. Uh, the submission was awesome, you know. When I read that, I got really happy, you know. That, that was quite the compliment. Um, I'm sure you had to uh, be be strict on your diet uh, heading into the fight. What was the first meal you got to eat that uh, you know was like a cheat meal? Ice cream. Ice cream. What flavor? What flavor? I gotta know. Uh, ben Jerry strawberry cheesecake. Nice. <laughs> nice. You do it up big. That's good. Um, now, as far as, uh, you know, we're recording this on uh, February uh, 24th. So we're, you know, a couple days removed uh, from the fight. Uh, what does this past week look like in terms of training? Have you trained at all? Like, uh, I'm re really happy, you know, with this, uh, with this title. Uh, I just trained it Monday and, uh, you know, uh, I'll go home Friday to Brazil. And uh, I'll be back training Monday. How, how long are you going to be in uh, Brazil for? It's like one, like one, two, 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 three months. Oh, great. Okay, good. And uh, when would you like to get back in the cage? Um, like uh, four months. Four months. Good time. Great. Yeah, d definitely. No, no need to rush back in or anything like that. Um, is there anyone you have in mind as far as your next opponent? No, I, I'm I'm ready for who they they put in front of me. You know? And, and I talked a bit about it there on the top. Uh, you're only 20 years old. You have a 7-in-1 record. Uh, how close do you think you are from going to a bigger organization like the UFC? I think I'm pretty close, you know. But uh, uh, I put in God's hand and uh, uh, let's see what happens. Who are some of your mentors in the sport? Like who's someone that you look up to that you aspire to be like in your career? My career? Uh, you know, Tauro. Okay. He's one of the guys who I look for. That's great. And uh, when, when you're not fighting, um, do, do you work at all or, or is fighting your full-time job? No, fighting is my full-time job. That's great. Okay. It is uh, all day. Now, when you're in Brazil, are you a guy who likes to go to the beach? Do you like to play soccer? Like, what do you do to sort of relax and, and you know, sort of uh, enjoy yourself? Yeah, I like to go to the beach, uh, play soccer with my friends, uh, hang out with my girlfriend. That's great. What, it must have been a big difference, uh, you know, fighting in Utah, where I'm sure it's really cold, uh, compared to Brazil. Yeah, it was really cold and uh, it was really dry, the right. weather. Yeah, the altitude. And yeah. The altitude and the altitude I felt in the fight, you know. Did you? Yeah. I was, I was holding back a little bit um, for this reason, you know. And when I was warming up, uh, I threw like 10 kicks and I got tired, you know. It was hard to breathe. Oh, interesting. So I was, about, I was a little bit worried. Was that the first time you've ever fought in, in an elevated uh, you know, cage? Yeah, the first time. I think it's the, it's the first time I have been in, in some place there is altitude. 
Good stuff. Well, uh, congratulations again on the victory. Uh, great to see you uh, get the win here. Uh, nice to see an up-and-comer like yourself, Tiago. Just uh, remind my audience where they can find you on social media and give any thank yous or shout-outs, any sponsors, anything like that. Uh, the floor is yours. Hey, you can find me on uh, Facebook, Tiago Moises, Twitter, Tiago Moises MMA, and Instagram, Tiago Moises MMA. And I want to say thank you for my team, uh, America Top Team, uh, 011 MMA, uh, my sponsors, my teammates, my coach, everybody who supported me, my family, girlfriend. And I want to say thank you to God, everything he has done for me.